Bluetooth uses the 2.4 to 2.485 gigahertz radio spectrum. This is also known as the industrial science and medical spectrum, meaning it is unlicensed in most countries. Once two Bluetooth devices are paired, they are able to establish an interference-free connection, despite other devices being present. This is because of the way Bluetooth works. It's called the spread spectrum frequency hopping, meaning that a frequency is divided into about 1,600 different sub-frequencies that are contained within 2.4 GHz. It then uses a pseudo-random sequence, which is an algorithm that produces almost random numbers. This algorithm is known only between the paired transmitter and receiver. This allows the devices to hop between channels to transfer the data between devices. The utilization of a pseudo-random sequence means that a Bluetooth connection is resilient to jamming, allowing it to be used in some military purposes. Bluetooth uses radio waves to transmit the music. The signal is then converted to binary code that can be manipulated by the amplifier and speaker to create music. Now that I have explained the Bluetooth section of the speaker that receives the signal, I'm going to explain the amplifier section. The amplifier is connected to the Bluetooth module and receives the music in its digital form. Upon receiving this digitalized sound, the amplifier is able to magnify by adding power to each vibration of the speaker. It does this through the utilization of an internal battery. Without an amplifier, the speaker lacks the adequate power to drive the cone properly. Lastly, I'm going to explain how the speaker itself works. When it receives the amplified signal, it travels through the electromagnet located inside the speaker. This makes the electromagnet attracted to the permanent magnet, thus driving the cone. In conclusion, a Bluetooth speaker works by receiving a radio signal, digitalizing it, then amplifying it, before converting it back to analog data, which in this case is sound waves.